she's felt. Carla Cope's grief borders on unbearable. The mother of three lost her only son, Clayton, in last week's deadly tornadoes. But even in the depth of the family's anguish, Carla wanted to honor his memory by sharing with the world the Clayton she knew and loved. He was just a good soul. He, he loved to tease his sisters, obviously, you know, that's what boys do. And he, uh, he loved music. He had a Harley that he bought last year that he absolutely adored and his dog. And um, he, he just, he, he was just goofy. The 29-year-old decorated Navy veteran was a maintenance worker at the Amazon Delivery Center in Edwardsville, Illinois. He was working last Friday night when a tornado ripped through the building, leveling half of it and leaving six dead. Carla and her husband spoke to him just 15 minutes before the storm hit, telling him to take shelter. But before he would, Carla says Clayton insisted on warning his co-workers of the imminent danger. I guess he was speaking to someone else and he said, I guess we need to tell that guy. And my husband said, let him know. And then I said, and then get yourself to shelter. And we said, I love you. And we hung up. Eight excruciating hours later, Carla and her family received the news they dreaded most. Clayton was found buried under rubble at the south end of the building. In a frightening twist of fate, it seems the family was almost destined for tragedy that night. My husband and my son work the exact same job. They work the same shift. They just work opposite days. So if my son hadn't been there that night, my husband would have been. And every Wednesday night they worked together. So on Wednesday night, if the storm had hit, then I could have potentially lost both. Her husband is too distraught to talk on camera. On Friday, the family will lay Clayton to rest, saying their final goodbyes to a son they will never forget. The families of the five other victims of this tragedy are also making arrangements. Most of the funerals are planned in the coming days. The town of Edwardsville is also planning a memorial this coming Friday to honor the lives lost as this small town tries to pick up the pieces from this unexpected catastrophe. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Edwardsville, Illinois.